sacred for your presence here we invite you in the atmosphere come take your rightful place we need you now lord we're desperate we are desperate for your presence here your presence we invite you your people come holy spirit hey. come set your people free come holy spirit hey. come set your people come holy spirit come set your people free say you Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Oh Lord, come back here. You say, come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Oh Lord.
Father, how many of you know that we serve a mighty God? Many didn't make it, but you're here to make it. It's the last Sunday of the year before we go into 2022. And what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. I don't know about you, but I believe him to be an awesome and mighty God. It's going through and still, he's mighty to me. I told him, seem like I'm losing my mind. Went to do a little shopping and seemed like when I get in stores and stuff, I begin to panic. Not knowing my sister saying, somebody, why is he watching us? Why is he watching us? I didn't think nothing of it. Not knowing that I had dropped my wallet and the man had seen me drop my wallet and I didn't know because it's like my mind be all over the place. But we left the place. My mom said, go back and get something else. Went back to get something else. That's the only way I know that I dropped my wallet. Social security cards, everything in the wallet. Bank cards, credit cards, everything I have was in, was in that wallet. They might have got that wallet, but we yet serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Seems like things been happening, problems after problems, and problems after problems. And I'm barely hanging on and making it. I'm barely making it. I'm barely making it. But we serve a mighty God that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Is that anybody can just lift their hands in the presence of God? Come on, let's let's go out with a bang this Sunday. Give him all you got because it could have been you. Said it should have been me, yeah. But he's saw fit to let me live on.
down before you. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God I serve. What a mighty God I serve. Heaven and earth adore him, Lord, what a mighty God. We serve one more time. Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. Yeah. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Always remember. Always keep him on your mind. Always remember Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Always keep him on your mind. Always keep him on your mind. Yeah. Always keep him on your mind. Always keep him on your mind. Now come on, with everything you got in you, begin to give God the best praise you can give him. Come on, stand to your feet and begin to give God the best praise you can give him. Come on, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Come on, begin to open your mouth and shout unto him with the voice of triumph this morning. Come on, we serve a mighty God. We serve an awesome God. Come on, is there anybody that need him this morning to come in and do something for you? Is there anybody that got a problem that you know that can't nobody solve it but Jesus? This morning, put it in the hands of God. Hey! Come on, somebody, begin to worship Him. Yeah. Begin to worship Him right there and say, let everything that has breath praise Jesus the Lord. Is that getting it? Praise Him, yeah. Come on, begin to praise him right there. Come on, begin to praise him right there. Come on, give him everything you got. Begin to praise him right there. Begin to give him glory. Begin to magnify him. Begin to let the redeem of the Lord say so. Come on, somebody give him glory. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Come on, praise him like it was your last chance. Praise him like it was your last chance. Praise him like it's your last chance. In your praise, depending on you getting to heaven, what would you do this morning? Said, I got a right to praise God this morning. 
because he got me all week long. Said I could have lost my mind. Said I could have lost my mind. Said I had every right to give up. But it was nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus can do it. Nobody but Jesus can give you peace. Nobody but God can give you understanding. Somebody begin to bless him. Somebody begin to praise him. We thank you for keeping us, God. We thank you for loving us, God. Even when we came up and turned our backs on you, you were right there. You were right there to it all. And I thank you, Jesus. And I prayed. Said I prayed you, Lord. Should I give you the glory, God? Should I give you the praise, Jesus? Now somebody begin to open your mouth and give him glory. Come on, you can do better than that. Give him glory. Look at somebody and tell him it could have been me. Said it should have been me. But it was nobody but Jesus. But God's grace and mercy said it got me. second of the day I need him I need him I live a life just working and crying just don't have no understanding but I know it's nobody but God that wakes me up every morning clothes me in my right mind you are good your mercy is forever hallelujah You are good. Your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Now put those hands together. Bless him. Good morning, Judah Worship Center. On behalf of our pastor, Demetrius Beecham, and our elect lady, Vicki Beecham, we would like to welcome you to our morning worship services. This is the month of December. Our theme for the month, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2.38 our core value is restoration. We believe in forgiveness, fresh start, new mercies, and in the deep cleansing power of Christ Jesus to not only restore, but to provide a better and fruit-filled life for all who ask in faith. Psalms 51 verse 12. Watch night service will take place Friday December the 31st at 9.30 p.m. Breakfast will be served immediately following that service. Make plans now to attend and invite a guest to join us for this wonderful night of worship. 
And now is the perfect time for you to take out your mobile device. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And share this morning's worship service with your friends and family. And at this time, join me in a hearty round of applause as we welcome all of our first time visitors to the Judah Worship Center. Oh, give thanks, oh, give thanks unto the 
hands together if you know he's good. Put your hands together if you know he's good. somebody and tell them, I don't know what you come to do. But I come to lift him up. I come to praise the Lord.
so good to us you are better to us than we have been to ourselves we love you Lord we magnify you Lord we honor you Lord Jesus for all that you've done for what you're about to do in the house on today encourage your people strengthen their hearts strengthen their minds in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we bind the hand of the enemy. 
that will come to try to seek and destroy. Oh, God. We magnify you. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your love. Now, God, before this message, in the message, after the message, you get all the praise, all the glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, lift up your hands all over this place. Lift up your hands. Lift those hands all over this place. Lift those hands. Praise Him. lift your voice. Praise him. Everybody praise him. Oh, praise him, praise him. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Bless his name. Bless the same. Bless the same. 
Come on, praise Him. Come on, praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him. By the clapping of your hands. Come on, saints. Now, God is worthy. Somebody shout, the Lord is worthy. Come on, grab somebody by the hand and, and lip him, slap, dab in the eye and shout, neighbor, the Lord is worthy of your praise. My, my, God is... Hey! Sister Whitfield, you know, people love to play with numbers and love to play with our lives. Sister Blanche, you was in the pool. Sister Brenda, you was in a pool. And, and the pool was this many African Americans, uh, this many uh, 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 Caucasian, this many Hispanics would die in the year 2020. They had your social security number in a pool. They said, this many people would die. This many people would, would perish home. This many people, my God, the, the plague of the pandemic would, would take them out. But I'm so glad that we serve a God. You better turn that organ up. I'm so glad. We serve a God. He that dwelleth. Looked at death and said, death behave. Won't you, won't you look at your neighbor and put your preaching boss on and shout, neighbor, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where, oh, where would I be? Sit down. Just where would I be? Just sit here. Y'all sit down. Let me. Yeah, let me. to say something tonight, this morning. You may be seated. Be seated. I don't know about you, but I, hey. I don't know. Now, 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 this is only, now listen, this. Now, now my brother Gary, y'all don't have to do this. So tonight, y'all don't have to do this. I just need about 40 people who are grateful that God spared your life. Just jump up three times and sit down. Just jump up three times. Just jump up.
Il y a un seul élément. out of this year I'm going to leave out of this year with a praise <laughs> alright I thank God for you, amen just, just give me 15 minutes, amen to the absence of my lovely beautiful wife, she's not here this morning give her a hand praise and I hope she's watching give, give me 15 minutes after reading God's word I enjoy the praise team Mothers of church elders, thank God for our visiting pastor here. Amen. Pastor Lucas, say amen for him. God bless you, Pastor. Amen to these great musicians here. Give them a hand of praise. Amen. Exodus chapter 14. And, and let's get this for 15 minutes. I'm going to uh, run back and, and bid my wife. Amen. Um, I think the, ch the changing of the weather. Is allowing people uh, to catch colds and flus and stuff. Amen. This last week, amen, I was coughing a lot, sneezing and stuff. And then I jumped on my wife. Amen. And then uh, this and that. But nevertheless, amen, I'm thankful. Is that right? Exodus 14, verse 13, 14, 15, and 16. Uh, uh, then uh, we'll say something right quick. Thank you, Elder Gardner, for helping me out this morning. And Minister Darrell, amen. And so hard. Say amen for these preachers, amen. Tonight, I want you, the ministers and missionaries, somebody shout the ministers and missionaries and their wives, amen, to meet me in Marlin tonight, amen, at 7 o'clock for uh, one hour of leadership training, teaching training for we can go into the next year prepared for what we're doing, amen. All right, Elder Gordon, read that for me. 13, 14, 15, 16. What did it say? And Moses said unto the people, uh -huh. Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which we will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. The Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward, but lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thine hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. I want to talk about this afternoon time for about 15 minutes. The Lord put this in my heart. Just the one word, Exodus. By itself. Say that with me. Exodus. First Corinthians 10 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. Yes, Say that with me again, Exodus. The word Exodus means, my brother, a mass department, a withdrawal, Evacuation, leaving, flight, escape, fleeing. Many has been slave to right today. 
have been a slave to depression. Have been a slave to anger. Have been a slave to bitterness. Sexual abuse. Have been a slave to perversion. But can I encourage you in my last 13 minutes, Sister Ebenezer? The Lord want me to speak on this last Sunday in your spirit. Exodus. I don't know who I'm preaching to this morning, who I'm encouraging uh, through social media. But I feel a total departure that's going to hit your household. I feel that God is about to free you from what has enslaved you in this last couple of years. Rather it be bitterness. Rather it be some type of loss. Rather it be some type of hurt. I just feel that in my spirit an exodus has hit your life. Won't you just grab somebody by the hand and look them in the eye and shout, neighbor, I speak exodus. God know how to create and raise up somebody who will bring an exodus in your life. It would take me too long to go all in history about the life of Moses. But no, those who know the story, you know how God used his mother to push him down the river in a basket. How God protected him from the alligators and all type of sea monsters and allowed him to be raised up in a house, my God, of kingship. And how God used him. And now God raised up Moses just to free some people. Oh, the Bible declares here, my God, that he told Moses in the burning bush. He said, listen, you take your shoes off. You're standing on holy ground. I have a task for you to do. And the task is you go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. I don't know what your Pharaoh is, my God, uh, this blessed noontime hour. But I feel in my soul that God is saying, Satan, take your hands off. Take your hands off that son. Take your hands off that daughter take your hands off that mother take your hands off of that child I ain't got no witness my God y'all making me preach too hard my God my God take your hands off I need my God about a hundred people to just shout say them take your hands off take Take your hands off my mind. Take your hands off my soul. Take your hands off my spirit. Take your hands off my finances. Take your hands off of my son. Take your hands off of my daughter. Take your hands off. Matter of fact, no weapon that's formed against me shall take your hands off. Take your hands off. The enemy, watch this now. He tries his best. To keep you in abundant mindset. To turn you back because he see what God has in store for you. The enemy tries to convince you, watch this now, that your past hurts are better than your future victories. He tries his best to convince you that the hurt that you're experiencing is better than you moving forward. He tries to convince you, my God, that the pain uh, is normal. He's trying to convince you that the abuse you're taking, uh, you deserves it. But I come to tell somebody, my God, who the son set free. 
He is free indeed. You don't have to live in misery. You don't have to live in pain. You don't have to be talked about. You don't have to be walked on. The devil is alive. You're not the last. You are the head. You ain't the tail. Or you don't have any witness, my God. The devil is a liar. Do I have any witness, my God? The devil is a liar. You got to tell that enemy, my God, you're not going to continue to remind me of my past. Matter of fact, devil, let me remind you of your future. You remember what God says, my God, that you will be in a bottomless pit forever? Or do I have one witness, my God? Let that devil know I will not rely on my past hurts. God is a God about placement, provision, and power. In other words, if you just depend upon him, he will lead you. He will guide you and provide for you at all times. One of the main tests of a man is trying to hear God. Watch this now. One of our main tests is trying to hear God in the midst of it. It's so important that we pay attention to what God is saying during our exodus. I'm going to say that again, my God. Our main test of powers is trying to distinguish his voice in the midst of it. While God is transferring us out of Egypt. Three things I want you to take focus on, my God, in my last seven minutes. I want you to take focus on, number one, direction. Number two, the dry ground. And number three, deliverance. Number one, direction. Number two, dry ground. And three, deliverance. Look how God says this to the people in verse number 15. Get this now. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cries thou unto me, Speak unto the children of Israel. To do what? Go to go forward. Speak to the children of Israel that they do what? That they go forward. In the midst of your exodus. In the midst of you escaping. In the midst of you fleeing. In the midst of you coming out. God gives divine direction. I want you to get this, Sister Mitchell, my God. Because you came for this, my God. Look what the enemy was trying to do to the people. I want you to catch this, my God, and my time is fleeing. Look what the enemy was trying to do to the people in verse number 11. Come on, put it up there, Brother Gary, 14 and 11. The people was told, you go to this place. You go, my God. I'm going to watch over you. But verse number 11 says this. Look what the people was doing. And they said unto Moses, because there was no graves in Egypt. You have taken us away to die in the wilderness. Wherefore thou hast dealt with us to carry us out of Egypt. Verse number 12. Watch this now. Is it not this the word that we told you in Egypt? Saying, let us alone. Can I help somebody? You better almost pause that clock. Up. Oh! Let us alone. Let us alone. Let us alone. Uh, that we may serve the Egyptians. My God, I, I'm about to go Zach. I'm about to go. They're they too tired, Zach. And I'm, I'm about to start shouting by myself. I, I, I'm about to go. My God. <laughs> My God. Get this, Pastor Lucas. God was giving the people of Israel an exodus. And they start saying this, Christos, leave us alone in the midst of it. We 
did better just making bricks. God is trying to bring you out of that mentality of being a slave. Now the enemy is trying to convince you you did better in your pain. You did better in the club. You did better in a broken relationship. You did better when you wasn't in church. You did better when you were smoking weed. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. You did better. When you was in the club, you did better. You did better. Look at all the hell you're going through. You in church, you done lost your marriage. You done in church, my God, you done done this and done that. I guess I ain't got no witness up here, my God. Have the devil ever tried to put it in your mind, my God? You did better back in your Egypt days, my God. When you were selling the dope, when you was doing this, uh, when you were shaking your leg, uh, making a man lose his head. Y'all ain't talking to me, my God. You did better back in those days, but the devil is a liar. Just grab somebody by the hand and shout, neighbor, I ain't going back to Egypt. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going back to Egypt. I'm not going back to Egypt. The devil, he's trying to convince you. He's trying to convince you that your past hurts are better than your future victories. But when God gives you an exodus, he gives you direction. And direction is move I wish I had about a hundred people, my God. Are you helping me, Sister Gardner? Are y'all helping me? Are y'all helping me on the social media, my God? I wish I had somebody on the social pages. Just put up there, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. Yes, you had some hurts in 2020 and in 2021. But it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to move forward. Won't you grab somebody by the hand and shout neighbor. It's time for you to move forward. Some of y'all didn't grab nobody. Grab them again and pull the hand a little bit and shout neighbor. It's time for you to move forward. Move out of that hurt. Move out of that bitterness. Move out of that disappointment. Matter of fact, so I'm making plans right now to move God told Israel he gave them direction Exodus brings direction now watch this now have the directions look what God says in verse 16 he said Moses if you lift up your hand lift up the rod stretch out thy hand over the sea divide it and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground. Now, uh, Brother White and, and Green, all of y'all, y'all always stay clean every Sunday. And God and I always stay clean. I just, I just got some clean brothers, you know. Uh, clean Green, you know. Sweet feet Green. They, they always clean. <laughs> they clean. Mother Jackson stay clean. My God, stay clean. You know what? I was, I went to the gym this morning with my son. By about seven forty-five, eight o'clock this morning, I went to the gym. Hey, we had to get up some shots, at, and and I looked down at my shoes. My God, I ain't got the best shoes on like y'all. I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't afford stuff like y'all. You know, and 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 and, and so the green. My God, I, I had to wipe something off of my shoes. I had to wipe some grass off of my shoes. And the reason why I had to wipe the grass off of my shoes because I. I went through some grassy places. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Nah. Do I have one witness? Good God Almighty. See, what God done for Israel, he said, this is what I'm going to do for you, Israel. I want you to walk over this, my God, Red Sea. But before you walk over, I'm going to send a wind to dry up the ground. He said, the reason why I'm going to send the wind to dry up the ground, you won't even have evidence that you went through muddy places. You won't even have evidence huh, that you went through a valley. Good, good God Almighty. 
Can I help somebody? See, some of y'all, my God, you done been through a divorce, but God son of win. You don't even look like you've been through a divorce. Some of y'all done been through bankruptcy, but God son of win. That you don't look like what you've been through. Won't you just grab somebody by the hand and shout, neighbor, God has sent an exodus that brought you out of that thing. You don't look like what you've been through. My time is over. And God bless all of y'all. But I don't know if I can get it in your spirit today. But I want to get that one word, Mark, but in your soul. My God, Exodus. Look at your neighbor and shout, oh, neighbor. God is sending an exodus for your whole family. My God, not only, not only, not only, not only the God send direction, but he sends the dry ground. Not only does exodus bring the dry ground, my God, in direction, but it brings deliverance. Somebody shout deliverance. I want you to see how cool God is. I want you to see how amazing God is. Can I let y'all see that? How amazing God is. Watch how God does things. Number one, what does Exodus bring? Direction. Number two, what Exodus bring? A dry ground. But I'm going to show you number three. Can I show you number three? It's found in 19. Uh, and verse number 20 uh, I'm going to show you how cool uh, God is uh, deliverance that's what we need y'all we need deliverance deliverance from our pain we need deliverance deliverance from our pharaohs we need deliverance deliverance from our anger uh, we need deliverance from all of that sexual abuse we need deliverance from all that mental abuse can I show you how good God is oh y'all don't want to hear me preach it. I'm going to run on back to Marlin can I show you how good God is y'all gonna say go ahead and preach pastor can I show you how good God is look at verse number 19 put it up there brother Gary good God almighty he told the people oh 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 verse number 19 and the angel and the angel are y'all with me y'all come on sister Blackman help me preach and the angel and the angel went which went before the camp of Israel. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind. Come on, Darrell. I want you to be Israel. This is Israel right here. Here is the angel. The angel. This is how good God is. My God. The angel who went before him did this. He removed and went behind him. Y'all ain't saying that to me. Everything in my past that's trying to grab me, that's trying to bring me back, y'all ain't saying that to me. God told the angel, go behind him. Good God Almighty, everything that happened, in 2020, 2019, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, everything that comes in your dreams, that comes in your thought pattern, God is sending an angel to take care of your past, to make your past sit down and behave. But look how good. Look how good. Look how good God is. An angel went behind, went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went 
from before, before their face, and stood, and stood, stood behind. Not only did an angel, but a cloud came and stood behind them. But look at verse number 20. Come on, y'all. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to them. But I'm going to help somebody, my God. I'm going to help somebody. Look like I'm getting more amens over here. But it gave light by night to these. Y'all ain't saying that to me. What was trying to hold me, what was trying to keep me down, y'all ain't saying that to me. It was a dark past, a dark hurt, a dark feeling, but it also was my light, my light for my future. Look at your neighbor and shine on neighbor. God is sending deliverance in my life. Do I have one witness? Grab your neighbor, grab him by the hand, and shine on neighbor. I got one word for you, and that word is Exodus. We're getting out of this thing. We're coming out of this pain. Do I have one witness? Grab your neighbor and shout on neighbor. Get ready. God's going to send an angel. Yes, sir. God's going to send an angel for your situation. Do I have one witness? That's why some of y'all, you can rejoice today. You should have been dead and you should have been gone. You could have had an accident. You could have flipped. Y'all ain't saying them to me. You was hiding Cooter Brown. But God, son of angel, told the angel to come out of your future to block your past and to give you a light for a better way. I can hear in the word, I am the way. I am the way, the truth and the life. Do I have one witness? Do I have one witness? I come to tell somebody, you might as well rejoice. You have just entered your exodus. Your exodus sees it now. New direction. New direction. Do I have one witness? New direction. I'm walking on dry ground. And I have deliverance. Deliverance in my life. Say yeah. Yeah. God. My time is over. My time is over. But look at your neighbor. Look at him one more time. And shun neighbor. Come on, put your preaching boss on. And shun neighbor. Get ready. Get ready. We're coming out. We're coming out with a praise. Some of y'all didn't say nothing. Get ready. But we're coming out with a praise. Mm, Lord, the devil tried his best to kill you in Egypt. But God had an anointing on your life. Do I have one witness? God had an anointing on you. Anointing to survive. Anointing to survive. Anointing to live. Do I have one witness? I hear this scripture in my mind. The devil come to kill. Steal. Steal and destroy. But I hear the Lord saying, I come that you might have, might have life more abundantly. Do I have one witness? Can I preach to somebody that's watching me right now? I speak of Exodus. I speak of Exodus. I speak of Exodus. An exit. Exit out of that pain. An exit out of that hatred. An exit out of that doubt, an exit out of that fear, 
in an exit out of that sadness. For I hear the Lord saying, weeping may endure for a night. Joy! 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 Coming in the morning. Say yeah! Yeah! Joy. Everybody standing. I speak Exodus in your soul, in your spirit. The Lord spoke to them. So Moses, you tell the people, don't fear. Stand still and see salvation of the Lord. Just stand still and see. Stand still and see what God is going to do. I feel this so strong in my spirit. I, I ask God what to speak on this last Sunday of the year. We're getting ready to exit out of this year into a new season. The Lord began to minister to me, Sister Tate, how that we're trying our best to, you know, preach you on to your feet, want you to rejoice. But the Lord told Mr. Whitfield that He's going to cause a great shaking within the land the people are not to respond on their feet but to respond on their faces to respond on their face I don't know about you but I got my mind made up for this 21 day fast for the green I saw something in Cameron this morning while preaching. It wasn't just for Cameron, but for the land. You can mark this down that there's going to come a great lamentation in the land. A great crying in the land. A great crying. morning this afternoon time before we leave here before we leave this edifice if you read this text real good in verse chapter 14 God said this to Moses he said I want you to get into a place get to this certain place he said but I'm going to do something I'm getting ready to harden Pharaoh's heart. Just to give me honor. Man, I saw something in the scriptures of the green that we have a God that know how to control both sides of what time. The blood. He controlled both sides. One side was dark to them. The other side was light for us. He hardened Pharaoh's heart. And he gave Israel a plan. You know what I ask God right now? God, don't allow me to be the one. And I'm coming back to you, Zach. Don't allow me to be the one like Pharaoh. That the reason why I won't pray is because you have hardened my heart. What if God considers you as 
house of Pharaoh. What if God sees you as a person that he can't get glory from you until he hardens your heart? It wasn't Pharaoh who done it. God hardened Pharaoh's heart. And what if God says, I can't get no more glory out of you until I harden your heart. Some people not coming back to church. What if God is hardened their heart not to come? Lord, please let me keep my conscience. Let me keep my conscience through this shaking. Let me keep my mind through this shaking. I'm telling you, people of God, you hear what I'm saying. I told you in 2019, I'm telling you now, there's going to be such a great lamentation that's going to happen in the land. In the land that we better have a conscious heart for God to cry out like never before. In this season of an exodus, in this season of a mass departure, good God Almighty, we better have a conscience of crying out to God. If some piano and strings on fire right now, I want the people, before I lay hands upon anybody, my God, our last three minutes of this service, you can sense it by the Holy Ghost, what I'm saying. You can sense it. You can sense it by the Holy Ghost. You can sense it by the Holy Ghost. That in this season, an exodus is going to take place. An exodus is going to take place. If your conscience is not there, God has hardened your heart. I just want the people, for those who can sense that this is God speaking to you today, you begin to cry out, God, let me keep my conscience, Lord, let me keep my mind, for I can sense the exodus. Come on, you cry out. Come on, all over this building. You have a few more minutes, come on. You have a few more minutes. Uh, bye bye. Sure.
when your heart is hardened, you don't realize danger. When your heart is hardened, you don't realize danger. You unconscious of danger. Hold on, you unconscious of the pain. To see all those ten plagues, they weren't conscious of it no more. They didn't understand Exodus. But while your hands lifted, God is dealing with your heart right now. It's important for you to fast. This is coming up fast. It's important for you to get back to prayer. It's important for you to mind God to move that plate back. It's important for you to get off social media for a while. It's important for you, my God, to seek God. Seek God like never before. God, give me my conscience back in this time of Exodus. Come on. Come on, saints, come on. Just a few more minutes. Come on, Sabrina. Come on, cry out to him. Come on, cry out. Come on, throw your hands up, throw your hands up, throw your hands up. Oh. Lord, deal with us. Deal with us now, Lord. Deal with us now. Deal with our minds now, our souls now. Deal with us now, Lord. Deal with us now. Deal with us now. Come on, those who are watching, my God, those who are watching, those who are watching now, deal with us now. Deal with us. Deal with us. Deal with us now. Deal with us now. Deal with us now. You go, Sister Marie, come on, deal with us now. Let me be aware of the danger, Lord. Let me be aware of the danger. Let me be aware. Let me be conscious of it. Surrender it all. Surrender it all to the Lord. There you go. Surrender it all. Don't wait for something tragic to happen. Surrender all now. Surrender now. Surrender now. Don't wait till the doctor give you bad news. Surrender all now. Surrender now. Don't wait for a storm. Surrender now. I surrender all to you. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Yes. Oh. There you go. There it is. God touching your heart. Yeah, my God. Oh. Hey. For those when we lay hands upon you quickly, come, come up.
hands up. Oh, I surrender. I surrender. Come on, mean it from the depths of your heart. I surrender. I surrender.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Baba. Yes. To your will. To your way. Baba, Baba, Sidney. Tata, Baba, Yes, Lord. Yes. say one thing Satan take your hands off take your hands off the yes take your hands off take your hands off the mind take your hands off the wheel we said yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Yes. 
Sister Williams, see it took some people saying, yes, Lord, I don't see where we're going, but yes, Lord, I don't know how you're going to hold that seal, but yes, Lord, I don't know how I don't know how you're going to take care of my enemy, but yes, Lord. Just shall live by faith and not by sight. I'm saying yes, Lord. somebody by the hand real quick and shout neighbor I don't know how God's gonna do it I don't see it but I'm saying yes Lord yes Lord shout it yes see the so I know it's we 30 minutes over time but I'm saying yes Listen, I only move by the Tatabahoshia, the unction of the Holy Ghost. Only 20 people gonna do it because 20 or more, because you're gonna see it. Somebody shout, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. I want 20 of you really to trust God with me. This last Sunday, this month, 20. Somebody shot 20. 20. I want 20 of you to trust God with me. Some of you say, Pastor, you crazy. That's all right. I'm just that. I'm your little crazy pastor. I want 20 of you to trust God with me. To sacrifice today a seed of $200. Say, wow, Pastor. 20 of you come quickly to me right now. Before you go to the credit card, just come to me right quick. Help me. 20 of you come to me right now. Just 20 that will say, Pastor, I'm doing it. I'm sacrificing. I'm believing God for this Exodus season. I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God for this. I'm believing. Quickly, quickly. God bless you, Sister Paula. Quickly come to me. Quickly. God bless you, God. God bless you, Elder. There's 17 more quickly. I want you to come to me quickly. Quickly. 17 more of you in here. That's gonna do this with me. Bye bye bye. Hashi. Now do it by faith. Thank you, Elder Knight. There's some more quickly. I want you to do it. My God. Some of you, my God, this is a real sacrifice. This is a sacrifice to you. My God, this is a sacrifice. It's pulling your soul today. It's pulling your spirit today. It's pulling your faith today. But I want you to stay in the devil says, sit down there. Let the devil know this is my exodus. Quickly, I want you to come. Quickly, come. 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 Right over here, yes. I know what the Lord said. I want you to come and stand with me. Stand with me. There's some more. You've been anxious in your Holy Ghost, in your spirit. You come. Thank you, sister. There's some more. You can do it. It's my faith. Come on, I want y'all to begin to worship the Lord. Come on, lift up your hands all over this place. You will not be a slave to poverty. You will not be a slave to poverty. 
you will not be a slave to poverty. You're going to give your way out of it. It's going to be nothing to you. $200 ain't going to be nothing to you. Come on, worship with me. Come on. Will be nothing to you. Will be nothing to you. Be like pennies. Be nothing to you. There's some more to this. Come stand with me right now. Come on. Stand with me. No, stand with me. Come on, quickly. Stand with me. Come on, worship God in this place. Worship God in this place. God, I'm going to worship God. There's some even that's going to sow even by watching. Come on, we stand. There's a man. There's some more. There's some more. There's some can sow a hundred. I want you to come quickly. Some can sow a hundred. I want you to come. Stand this line with me. Put your seat in your right hand. Quickly. He has done great things. He Sister Williams. There's some could sow a hundred. I want you to get under quickly. There's ten more in there. I know they're in here. So 400 left for me and my wife. Oh, my soul. Come on, there's some more that's going to sow this seed. I want you to come stand here. Some going to sow two. Some going to sow 100. I want you to come. Some you're so fit that please get in here. Come on. Father, bless these seeds that the people are giving to be a blessing to the kingdom. Blessing to the kingdom. We're sowing by faith. We're giving by faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Bless this seed. Bless this seed. In Jesus' name. Every person, every person, whatever your seed is, I want you to come to me. Where's your Result. Before July happened. A mighty financial breakthrough is going to happen for you. It's going to put you in a It's a holy name. It shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Every person, come on. I will bless the Lord. Bless. Bless the Lord. Bless. Every person, come on. Whatever your seed is, I'm going to come bring it. Bless this family in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless our Wabash. New journey in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, family, everybody. Holy name. Bless in the name of Jesus. Jesus. When is your birthday, Ebony? February 21st. Get her envelope and put on there, February 21st, I'm looking for my miracle three times. Just get the envelope and write that on there. Put your son's name on this quickly. Oh, man. I done held y'all a little bit too long, but that's all right. Bless. Bless in Jesus' name. Bless in the name of Jesus. Hey, oh, glory. Woo. Stand there. We just go home. Bless in the name of Jesus. Bless, Lord and Lord. Bless. 
ministers, I want you in Marlin at 7 o'clock. Bless, bless. Ministers, missionaries, leaders, those who come, come on. Bless, bless, bless. Bless them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Come on, let us all stand. Give me a microphone. I'm asking Pastor Lucas, he always come and support us, to come and give us a dismissal prayer. And I want him to come and preach at my Cameron Church for me. I'm going to say amen for him. Members, I want y'all, if you can, meet me tonight. Leaders, meet me tonight. And Tuesday night in Cameron, we're going to have a one-night revival in Cameron. I'm asking Pastor Lucas.